un, unbiased, objective source of information that we can get, where we can find out and decide for ourselves. What is the interpretation of these things? When, when you deny people the information, the objective information, because you don't want that to empower the side that you're uh, opposed to, you're no longer a journalist. You're an activist. And if you think that's okay to be an activist journalist, Journalism is supposed to be about getting people information. It's supposed to be about unbiased information. It's supposed to be about the purest, most uh, most objective version of the truth that you could possibly get to the people. And there's a great value in that. Yeah. But that great value has been cast out in favor of things that get more ratings and more clicks and in, 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 in favor of cl these clickbait articles and, and trying to get as many, many advertisers s squeezed into your page as you can. I mean, this is what it's come to. And it's it's very dangerous for people trying to figure out the truth, especially people that work all day. They Maybe they have some job that's in, incredibly uh, detail-oriented, and they have to focus on it, and then they have children, and they have families, and they, have, they don't have time yeah. to sit down and analyze what's happening in, in, in Yemen. They don't have time. They don't have time to figure out, well, why, why aren't we getting these stimulus checks? Right. What the fuck is going on? They don't have time. They don't have time for all these things. They don't have time for all these things they've been promised. They don't have time to understand what's happening. They just they get narratives and they they belong to a tribe and then they they they, they don't want to be chastised by their neighbors. They don't want to be anybody to be mad at them. So they just stick with whatever it is, whether they're right wing or whether they're woke, whatever it is. They just it's easier to just go along with the narrative. But there's no one in charge and there's no wisdom involved yeah. in crafting these narratives. Right. And so that exactly what you describe is this complete lack of leadership. So w political leadership is lacking. It's of such low quality. It's astonishing. And then uh, leadership in journalism is not even there anymore. It, precisely as you describe it, it's the clickbaits, the bottom line. Um, and then, and and then the farther you go, you know, leadership in education and leadership yes. elsewhere, and these things feed off of one another. And when you talk about tribalism, I can tell you it's not an attractive thing. I know Americans love to cheer for this group against that, but if you come from a tribal society, or if you go now to a tribal society. What you see is not attractive. It's always zero sum. What you want to have, the other tribe has, and there's no way both of you can have it. So you go to great lengths to get it for your tribe. And very often, a lot of blood is shed to get that to happen. There is a little bit of everything, not enough, and I'm always asking myself, why do Americans think that dividing our society up into collectives, into groups, and I don't care what the, that particular group, what they have in common, but to sit in a group and think we have something in common that they don't have and we're going to take a hostile attitude to the other side, and you do that and you have to ask yourself, where is that going to end? I don't think Americans have seen the real ramifications of that, and that's why they're adhering to these tribal lines. When you see the right going against the left or the left going against the right, I don't think they understand where this ends. And I think... ...to the other side. And you do that, and you have to ask yourself, where is that going to end? I don't think Americans have seen the real ramifications of that, and that's why they're adhering to these tribal lines. When you see the right going against the left or the left going against the right, I don't think they understand where this ends. And I think what we saw on January 6th, yeah. that's just the beginning of it. That's the that's a, a tiny little rumble. Of of it. Yeah. yeah, That's what I think. On the other hand, when I travel around the country and... I tend to talk to people, I seek them out, and I will talk to the people actually I'm not supposed to talk to. And I find wonderful people, 
the polite. Um, they when you say me. the people you're not supposed to talk to, who do you mean? Well, the people who have been called deplorables and all sorts of names, and uh, they'd be wearing MAGA hats. They'd be, I just, you know, start up a conversation, and I've not come across people wherever I go who I find display hostility, even though it's clear, it's written all over me that I'm not one of them, that I'm different, I'm an outsider, I have an accent. Uh, still, I find that people treat me in America with a great deal of hospitality. Where outside of their realm of daily existence. Am I wrong? I think there there's that, but I think it's it's also what we were talking about earlier that there's just too much to pay attention to, and so people they form convenient narratives, and they, they stick with them. And I think one of the things doesn't deplatform people for not being obedient to the mainstream narrative. Like, do you have any idea how dangerous that is? You could be exposed to thought and truth. Parler is a things you're talking about is one-on-one -on -one communication which is really how people are supposed to talk to each other and most th things can be worked out when you really do just have one-on-one -on -one communication with people especially if you, you know you both have uh, most people have the, the the your end desire is harmony most people's end desire is you you want food for your family you want to live in a safe community you want to be able to do what you want to do for a living people are giving out bad information we have to stop them well but bad information by but can't you stop them by giving out good information no 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 we just have to silence them well then they're gonna to go to this other place we're gonna close that place down too well mm -hmm. then you're gonna have a civil war because now you only have one side being represented disproportionately, mm -hmm. yeah. and these people are going to be furious, and they still can vote. Yeah. If you can't stop those people from voting, that's how you get Donald Trump. Because Donald Trump comes around, and he says, hey, these people don't like you. They hate America. Yeah. I love America. And they go, well, I love America, too. Yeah. And they fucking killed Parler. And then, <laughs> and then they're voting. This isn't propaganda, is it?